10 and 9, Hopkinton Hillers take on 10 and 9, Ashland. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera for what should be a great tune-up for the postseason and a tremendous battle in the regular season finale. The last time these two teams met was back on Saturday, Fe February 12th, where Ashland came back trailing 4 to nothing in the third period and ended up winning 5-4 to four in overtime. Hillers certainly looking for some revenge here this afternoon in the regular season finale. And of course, a win like this for the Hillers would certainly give them some good momentum heading into the playoffs, but Ashland, no easy task. They are a very talented team as well. Right now, let's set it down to rinkside for the opening announcements. Good afternoon and welcome to New England Sports Center. Today's matinee features the Ashland Walkers against the Hopkinton Hillers. Our starting lineup today for Ashland, number six, right wing, PJ Cassane. At center, number nine, Dom Batelli. At left wing, number two, Jack McGaugh. On defense, number seven, Jack Reardon. Defense, number four, A.D. Pitch. And in goal, Jack Rosser. And now the starting lineup for your Hopkinton Hillers. At right wing, number five, Joe Sardino. Center, number nine, Ryan Title. Left wing, number 19, Wyatt Ryan Posta. On defense, number 17, Manoli Maris. On defense, number 20, Michael Burnham. And in goal, Jack Lang, number one. Please rise and move your caps to the next call. Have it the starting rotation and the national anthem 
And we are just about ready for hockey here at the New England Sports Center. Hopkinton fresh off of a six to nothing victory yesterday at this very rink against Hudson. And they are looking to capture their second, or second win in a row against Ashland. And out there today they have the usual starters you would expect. The starters that have been going all season. And actually the Hillers are on a three game winning streak. Looking to capture their fourth win in a row, but a little bit of a switch up on the front line. They got Ryan Title in the center circle to start things off and we are underway here at the New England Sports Center. Sending it down the far side was Berman and Ashland works it back up into Hiller's territory. Picked up by Barris, he'll bang it off the boards. Sent down by Berman and now across goes Ian Tosca. And now Ashland trying to close in Boselli but it appears we have an offsides. So we'll get a face off 21 seconds into action. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you for the call. John Ritz on camera for some afternoon matinee season finale hockey. Along the far side, pass over to Reardon. Jack Reardon working his way up into the Hiller's zone. Ian Tosca challenges him. And then he takes a hit from Barris. Up along the far side now, Reardon. And he's diverted. Here comes Ian Tosca. He sends it to title. And now with it is Berman. Berman working into Ashland territory. Sends it over to, to Scardino. And it's taken away by Boselli. Boselli works it up the far side and takes it into Hiller territory. Sends it towards the net and it's wide to the right. Now along the end boards. Coming out with it is Morse. Morse sends it over. And Reardon rips a shot off and it'll buckle around. Scardino sends it back. Morse pops it off the defender. Back and forth we go here in the early minutes of this game. Carazza trying to steal it away. He was cut off by Caveney. Here goes Carazza now, up the near side, takes a shot, it's just wide. Up now along the far side, that is Zolotarev. And now it's taken by Ashland. Here come the clockers. Working his way up, Rodriguez takes a shot, and it's turned away. And now here's another shot turned away by Lang. And a third shot gonna be wrapped up by Lang. Dan Kelly on the second shot, and then trying to pop it in was Caveney. We'll have a faceoff at 13.09 left to go in the first period. Declan DeRocher up against Anthony Rodriguez. Sends it back, handled by Bianchi. He'll wrap it around to the far side towards Greenwood. Greenwood takes a hit from Riva. Up along the near side now. And sent up and around by Kelly. Trying to get to it was Milko. Pass over by Purpura. It floats over to Ashland territory and we'll have an icing. 12.48 left to go in the first period. The Rocher was on the faceoff for the Hillers, up along the near side boards now. And we do have a bit of a student section today. And don't worry, they're not skipping school as it is school vacation, as that is backhanded over to the near side corner by Sheath. A battle for it now along the end boards as DeRocher sends it over to the far side. Popped off the boards by Greenwood. And now it's sent to the net by Aiden Fish, turned away. Jammed up along the near side, floats over to the far side corner. Berman with it. Up to Greenwood he goes, and a rocket by Aiden Fish into Hiller territory. And we'll get a face off at 12.08 left to go. Be an icing call to Ashland territory. We go. Right title up against Dambo Selly. Sends 
Sent over by Morse. Title trying to track it down. Sends it up along the boards. Sent back towards Title from Wynn. And it's taken by Aiden Fish as he gets in there. Jammed up now along the end boards. Title is trying to get it out. It was wrapped up with two clockers. Here comes McGough. Sends it over. And Wynn able to just get in there before taking a hit. Now racing up the ice. Boselli closing in. Trying to get by Morris to the net. Backhand. And it's a goal. 1-0 Ashland. Well, Don Boselli starts things off in this TVL large clash. And he makes it 1-0 Ashland with 11.37 left to go in the first period. Joe Karatza up against Dambo Selly. Yeah, Isaac Peterson lost his balance there. Here comes Boselli, and he's diverted. Peterson getting in there now. Boselli able to slap it into Hiller's territory. Berman sends it up the far side of Zolotarov. Now cross towards Peterson. Peterson beats up along the boards for a clash with Dan Kelly. And now Ashland trying to work their way back in. Berman along the far side. Sends it up and it's taken away by Aiden Fish. Fish into Hiller's territory. That'll draw an icing call at 11.01 left to go in the first period. Well, this is a great battle for both of these teams to get ready for the postseason. You certainly want to be playing tough opponents, have tough competition. Uh, get rolling for next week's playoff games. And you should know what the Brackets are hopefully sometime Saturday. Hit delivered by Greenwood up behind the net is Kelly. Sends it along the far side. Sent back by Morse. Now along the corner. Backhanded by Riva. Getting it out of the jam cave and, he, and Greenwood gets in there. Greenwood sends it up. And there's a shot and it is just wide by Wynn. That's a good velocity on that shot. Working his way up is Caveney. Caveney tangled up with Morse. Getting in there is DeRocher. Handled by Wynn. Sends it over to Morse. And Caveney sends it towards the boards. And now a traffic jam along the far side. It's sent up back in Ashland territory, Riva. Sends it into the neutral zone. Up along the far side, Rodriguez will slap it around to the near side. Berman with it. Berman racing up the far side. Closing in, he's diverted. Taken by Fish. And now up behind the net, Berman and Fish doing battle. Along the far side, Riva. Up the ice goes Reardon. Ian Tosca sends it over to Bianchi. Bianchi's pass nearly intercepted, but Ian Tosca able to get in there. And Ian Tosca trying to close in, and he's diverted as the puck floats over to the near side corner. Title in a traffic jam, and now a number of other players from both sides joining the fun. Puck is loose. Along the far side, Reardon sends it up. And Reardon and Scardino get locked up to knock the puck out of play. This faceoff comes at 9.05 left to go in the first period. Karatza up against Derek Sheaf. Peterson trying to take it away. Along the near side, now Karatza delivers a big hit. Sent up into Hiller's territory, across goes win. Morse racing up the ice. Closing in. And he gets through a couple of clockers, turns it out, and he puts it in! Joe Morse with the floater! And the Hillers tie it up at one apiece. At 8.46 left to go in the first period. Well, there was three defenders in front of Morse, and he somehow just snuck between them. 
Worked his way right to the net and floated it in. Parats up against Boselli. Along the near side, Reardon. Back hands it up the ice, sent across by Wynn. Morris gets the stick on it. Racing up Aiden Fish into Hiller territory. Sent back by Morris and now taken by Ashland. Boselli closing in and he's diverted. He'll take it around the net now. And he comes out front. That shot is fought off by a defender. And then a secondary shot by Reardon, and it's in. But oh, that's going to be a save. Excuse me. He was able to glove it. What a great save by Lang. Now on the faceoff, DeRocher up against Boselli. Berman. Over to Greenwood, pops it off the glass. Settled down and sent up by Aiden Fish. Barris sends it over, Berman trying to send it across, intercept it. A nice job by Barris getting in there. Both teams playing at a very high intensity right off the get-go in this one. And now it's taken away by Greenwood and he takes a big hit. Along the far side goes Kassane. Kassane racing up, and DeRocher gets in there. And I believe we have an offsides at 7.42 left to go. A one-to-one -one game. Combo Selly with a goal at 11.37. Drew Morris responds at 8.46 left in this first period. Strap in, folks. It's going to be a good one. Ryan Title up against Anthony Rodriguez. Morris sends it across over to win. Win back to Morse. Off the stick and title it goes in Ashland territory. Ian Tosca trying to race to the end boards. Gets tied up with Riva. Back to Ian Tosca now. Sends it towards the back of the net. Scardino going to try to pop it out. And he'll go to his right over to Morse. Back to Scardino. Scardino takes a shot and it's turned away by the goalie Jack Rossi. Well, I'll tell you what, Jack Lang and Jock Rossi, your goaltender is going to be busy in this one. Rodriguez sends it towards the net, off the end boards. Sent back by Wynn, up along the far side it goes. Caveney gets to it, scoots it back to Fish. Fish pops it off the boards. Now here comes Riva. He'll take a shot, turned away by Lang. Up along the near side now. Coming away with it, it was Wynn, sends it over to Morse. Morris trying to scoot it into Ashland territory, taken by Reardon. And now approaching Riva. Trying to send it up, he gets tied up. And into the neutral zone it goes, Reardon sends it over. Ashland in the midst of a change. That shot deflected by Berman from Aiden Fish. Into Ashland territory it goes. Reardon slaps it around to the near side, and now sent out to Carrazzo, who takes a shot, it's just wide. Migoff sends it up over to Boselli. Boselli gets tied up. Both teams just doing a great job getting to the puck and hustling and contesting every move just about. Carrazzo looking for a break. Carrazzo floating into Ashland territory. It's deflected into the rafters as Aiden Fish got a stick in there. We'll get a faceoff at 5.47 left to go in the first period. Rots up against Boselli. Over to the near side corner, sent back around. Zolotarev delivers a big hit. Morse sends it up. Morse gonna take it. Closing in, takes a shot, it's punched away. And in that process, McGough lost his stick. And we do get a stoppage. I don't believe there was any penalties. Well, let's see, we might have one. It is. It's gonna be against Ashland, Jack Reardon. And we're gonna have a couple penalties against Ashland. Reardon and McGough. I think it might have been because he 
Kind of used his broken stick to check one of the Hiller players. Two minutes on both penalties. Both against Ashland. And yeah, I think it was, uh, they used the two clockers, used their sticks to try to trip a couple of hillers. So Hopkinton has a five on three advantage for the next two minutes at least. Carrazza up against Boselli. Along the far side, Carrazza sends it back as Wynn pins it against the board, sends it forward, takes a big hit, and we're gonna have a delayed call on that one. Scardino. And we, Hillers took their uh, goaltender out with the delayed penalty call, but now we get it, and we'll have a third Ashland clocker heading to the box. We're gonna get Boselli for a cross check. It will remain a five on three, but what will happen is if the Hillers happen to score two goals, there'll still be someone in the box for Ashland, and the Hillers will still have a man advantage. Morse sends it across. Out front win. Now to Karata, and Karata lost it. Sends it up the boards. A minute and a half on two of the penalties which both happened in the same sequence. Win rushing in, leaves it for Carrazza, takes a shot, it's just wide. Scardino sends it back, and now across goes Ian Tosca. Morse floats it up. Hiller's looking for an opening, Ian Tosca takes a shot off a defender, it goes, takes a secondary shot, and it's put in! Wyatt Ian Tosca makes it two to one! That was beautiful puck distribution by the Hillers. Great setup for Ian Tosca to pump it in at 4.33 left to go in the first period. And the Hillers will remain with a one-man advantage for at least the next minute and two seconds. Ryan Title up against Anthony Rodriguez. And actually it'll, oh, they got a two-man advantage still. And then after the minute, it'll be a one-man advantage for another minute. Zoltaroff up the near side, sends it back to Title. Now across to Berman. Berman to Title, takes a shot and it's off a defender and sent away. Lang will set it up and leave it for Berman. 39 seconds and counting left on one of the penalties. Berman trying to close in, sends it back to Rocher. DeRocher sends it over, and then a shot by Zolotaroff, and it's turned away. Secondary shot, it's Bunnin! And that was Michael Berman! Off the deflection, Berman with the power. And the Hillers take a three to one lead. And guess what? They'll still have a man advantage for at least the next minute and 24. Those penalties really costing Ashland. Already two goals for the Hillers. Let's see if they can get three with an advantage. Perez up against Rodriguez along the near side. Morse sends it across over to win. Down to Ian Tosca. Into the neutral zone, slapped back into Hiller territory by Rodriguez. Handled behind the net by Wynn. Wynn gonna come out with it. Sends it up to Scardino. Scardino and Carrazza working their way up the ice. Back to Carrazza now. Oh, Carrazza takes a big hit. Rodriguez with the puck. Trying to close in on a Hiller's territory. Wynn deflects it. And now it's sent up and around. Picked up by Morse, and we're gonna have an elbow. This is 
is going to be against the Hillers. And it looks like it's going to be Joe Carrazza heading to the box. So it'll be even strength for 46 seconds at least. And then Ashland will have a man advantage. 3.18 left to go in what has been a crazy first period as advertised between these two teams. 3-1 to one, Hillers lead. Puck tied up, sent away by a win, and floats on top of the wall just in front of the glass. Haven't seen that much before. And closing in, backhander sent away by Lang. That was a good job by Mark Milko working past the defender. Here comes Isaac Peterson flying up the ice. Peterson, and he won't be able to get the shot off as a nice defensive play there by Oriva. That is sent out over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez trying to work his way up. 15 seconds left for even strength. Closing in, Peterson gets in there. Actually, it is four on four out there right now. Here goes a shot by Reardon, deflected out of play by Lang. We'll get a face off at 2.33 left to go in the first period. So all the Ashland penalties have expired. So they will have the man advantage for at least the next minute and 15 seconds. And I believe Lang might have had some kind of a equipment malfunction. So now Ashland gonna try to respond to the pair of goals the Hillers scored with a two-man advantage. Ryan Title up against, well, it looks like it'll be P.J. Kassane, and it will. Some confusion amongst the Ashland players. Along the near side, Boselli sends it back, and a shot by Kassane is wide. Along the far side now, Aiden Fish sends it over, Boselli. Takes the shot, and it is covered up by Lang. Another great save by the junior goalkeeper. One minute and one second left on the Ashland power play. Along the near side. Boselli, or make that Milko, sends it back. Up to Milko, takes a shot, it's just wide. Jammed up along the end boards. Milko comes out with it. Floats it up the near side to Boselli. Boselli trying to work the defender. Takes a shot. Sends it just in front of the net as it was deflected by a defender. Scardino will send it away into Ashland territory. 34 seconds and counting left on the Ashland power play. And what do we got here? And it's going to be against Ashland. Jack Reardon, I believe he tripped somebody. So I think call is tripping, but in any case, it'll be for two minutes. So now we're back at even strength. Well, we've certainly seen a lot of different penalty situations in this first period. And typically, that's what you get when you get two crosstown rivals like Hopkinton and Ashland. They're friends off the ice, but certainly not on the ice. Derocher in on the faceoff for the Hillers. Derocher up against Boselli. Boselli takes it. Playing keep away as Perpero is closing in. Taking it back around, Riva sends it behind the net. Trying to work up the near side, and he lost the puck. And now, here comes Boselli. Boselli closing in, and he takes the shot, turned away by Lang. Perpera sends it over. Wynn sends it to the far side. DeRocher sends it into Ashland territory, and the Hillers penalty has expired. So Carrazza back out there, and the Hillers will now be on the power play for at least the next minute and 21 seconds. 
One minute and nine seconds left to go in the first period. Carazza up against Rodriguez. And we're at a five on four now. Sent down by Wynn as Morse trying to pick it up out of the corner. And that's sent over to the Hiller net. Lang will cover it up. We'll have another face off at 101 left to go. Prazza up against Boselli. Along the near side, and that's sent sky high into the protective netting. As Anthony Rodriguez got his stick tangled up. And we'll move on over to the neutral zone. Carazza up against Boselli. Win. Gonna take it around. Carazza. Gonna try to work his way up the ice. Carazza. Trying to get by Boselli. There he goes. A nice duck there. Close again, takes a shot, turned away, out in front, and it is put in! No, it wasn't! No sign, it looked like it was right on the line. Unbelievable. Morse. Carazza, turned away. That is debatable. That could certainly be a review right there. Win. And that puck is deflected by a defender. Along the near side now in Hiller territory. Closing in. And Boselli gets jammed up along the end boards and that's gonna do it for what was a crazy first period. And after one period of play, it is the Hillers leading three to one. Stay tuned folks, you're not gonna wanna miss the conclusion of this game. Second period coming up next, you are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HK. Welcome back into the New England Sports Center as we are just about ready for the second period. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera. A three to one Hillers lead. And Hopkinton is on the power play for at least the first 11 seconds of this second period. Jack Reardon in the penalty box for Ashland for a penalty that happened towards the end of that exciting first period. In the center circle, Ryan Title up against Dombo Selly. Ashland territory and trying to take it title. Up along the near side. Coming around with it now, Aiden Fish. And Scardino gets in there. Scardino tied up with Fish. And title takes it away. Sends it up and there's a quick shot. Wide to the left by Barris. Along the near side, title. Pops it off the board. Scardino trying to get there. Jammed up now in the corner. And it scoots out. Title, bringing it around, sends it up, and a quick shot by Berman, and it's deflected away. The power play has expired. And Boselli trying to work his way up, and we're gonna have a delayed call here. It's gonna be a trip against the Hillers. McGough sends it around, and Ashland pulled their goalie with the delayed call incoming. As long as Ashland possesses, they can hold off the delayed call. McGough sends it up the far side. And there's a quick shot turned away by Lang. That was Dombo Selly getting under it. And now we'll get the penalty call. And it will be against Wyatt Ian Tosca for the trip. And we'll get a face-off at 13.47 left to go. Ashland 
on the power play for at least the next two minutes. Up along the near side. And we have some interference perhaps. This could be out of play. All right, in any case, we are ready for a faceoff at 13.36 left to go in the second period. Into Ashland territory it goes, Fish. Picks it up along the end boards. Working his way up the ice, sends it along the far side. And that is Milko with it. Milko pops it off the boards over to Fish. Swiping it away is Peterson. Along the near side corner now, trying to dig it out, Reardon. Sends it up over to Boselli. Now out in front of the net. Good defensive play by Morris. And now out in front and a shot and a goal. Jack Reardon stuffs it in. So Ashland takes advantage of a power play opportunity. At 12.54 left to go, it makes it a three to two game. Well, it was great pressure by Ashland. And they kept the puck in front of the net and Reardon just able to stuff it in. On the face off, Ryan Title up against Derek Sheath. We are at even strength. Let's see how long that lasts. And now it's taken away, breaking up the ice. Great save by Lang as Derek Sheath able to get away and rip the shot off. Puck deflected into Ashland territory. Along the end boards it goes, sent back by Kelly. Jammed up along the near side corner. Title trying to dig it out. Ashland with possession, working his way up the ice. Caveney contested by Scardino. Berman pops it off the boards. Title trying to get in there. Slash by Kelly. And that's sent up by Scardino. Taking it around Kelly. Title gonna try to steal it away. Perpero raised the stick in there, but it scoots back into Hiller territory. Now across, handled by Bianchi. Bianchi sends it up as he takes a big hit. Now with it, Kassane. Wrapping it around is Ian Tosca. Up along the near side. Berman sends it across. Pass up by Bianchi. And Perpera. Wraps it around before taking a big hit. And now sent out, Ashland trying to work their way up the ice. Caveney with it. And Ian Tosca returns the favor with a nice hit. Perpera able to get to his skates and send the puck up the ice. Handled by Reardon. Sends it down the near side. Scoots over towards the net. Lang will set it up. Handled by Wynn. Morse. Morris sends it up the near side. Reardon going to send it right back into Hiller territory. Pass over by Wynn. Morse sent out. And Purpura will send it up the ice to Wynn. Sent back down by Palanzi. Pel Pel now along the near side at Morse. Racing up the ice, and he takes a hit from Milko. And now with it's Greenwood, he'll flick it off the glass. DeRocher sends it out. Oh, Peterson had a nice chance there, but the puck wasn't where he needed it. And now Ashley looking for a breakaway as Milko got the stick in there, racing up the far side, around Greenwood, sends it over, and Jack Reardon pops it in. Well, that was a great breakaway by Milko. A nice move around the defender, and he finds Reardon just waiting for it. And we are tied up at three apiece at 10-14, left to go in the second period. Off 
the face off over to the far side. Peterson sends it out. Fish goes up the near side. And now trying to break free Boselli. Over the corner it goes. Boselli sends it out. And there's a backhander wide by Rodriguez. Sent up by Minoli Barris. Ashland sends it right back down. Great pressure from the clockers in the last few minutes. Barris along the near side corner. Sends it over towards Carrazza. Carrazza looking for Peterson. Puck got a little too much in front of him. Reap going to chase it down. Contested by Peterson along the end boards. Peterson trying to come away with it. He's tripped up. And it's sent up the far side. Racing up the ice. Boselli takes a big hit from Carrazza. That rocked the glass. In the Ashland territory. With it is Boselli. Boselli sends a rocket right towards the net. And it lands on back of the net after deflecting off the end boards. Now a crossover to Aiden Fish. He'll send it down. Picked up by Wynn. Over to the near side. To Zoltar. Zoltar takes a big hit. And now a big hit delivered by Carrazza. Well, you had to figure this game's going to get physical. The puck still jammed up along the near side. And we're going to get a penalty call here. There was a punch thrown. And we'll see if it's on both or one of them. It looks like it's going to be on Ashland. So they're going to get Jack McGough with the penalty. And that is certainly... Not what you want to do if you're Ashland. You saw what the Hillers did the last time they had the power play advantage. But actually, they are getting Vasily Zoltarov as well. So we'll be at even strength. Well, things getting a little chippy out there between these two crosstown rivals. It is certainly no surprise. Derosher up against Boselli. Set up by Greenwood. DeRocher able to get it into Ashland territory. Greenwood racing towards the puck. Trying to send it out. And into traffic it goes. Sent over by Cavity. Up along the far side now. Purpura gets in there. And he puts it in the air. And we're going to have a face-off at 8.19 left to go. A three to three game in this crosstown TVL large rivalry, Hopkinton and Ashland. Goes off the glass, Riva sends it up. Rodriguez up to Boselli and now Caveney. Caveney pops it off the boards and delivers a bit of a hit, sent up by Bianchi. And racing up the ice, title. Title takes a shot and it's off the glove of Rossi. Along the far side now. Sent over by Ian Tosca. Berman. Berman working his way up. He'll send it around. Scardino trying to get to it. Scardino flips it up. Trying to close in. He'll turn it around once again to Ian Tosca. Now to Morse. Morse takes the shot and it is wrapped up by Rossi. He was trying to go five hole and Rossi just able to cover it up. His face off comes at 7.25 left to go in the second period. Ashland trying to work their way up the ice, but Morse has something to say about that. Morse. Up over to Adams, who will send it into Ashland territory. Getting in there, Peterson. Closing in, sends it out, and Adams can't get to the puck in time. Had a good look. That was a great pass by Peterson. Ashland trying to respond. Milko sends it around. Up behind the net, and Wynn takes a trip. Carrazza sends it up and sent back down by Sheaf. Along the corner now, Wynn. And it was 
little too close for comfort there for Jack Lang. We'll get a faceoff at 6.43 left to go in the second period. DeRocher up against Sheaf. Up along the near side. And taken by DeRocher, he lost his balance, just able to send it to Perpera. Perpera shoots it into Ashland territory. Up along the near side now. Sent out. Handled by Barris. Backhanded up the ice by Polanzi. With it now, Berman. Sends it to the near side of Barris, who'll pop it across to Perpera. One-timer to Rocher a little high. Greenwood looking for a shot, sends that wide. DeRocher sends it to the far side to Barris. Along the end boards now. Purpura sends it out. Now across to Berman. And now Barris putting it in the danger zone, nearly deflected in. And Purpura got the deflection on it. Shammed up along the near side, big hits delivered. And one of the few times this uh, season our sight line has been blocked from that near side corner. Big fan section for a little afternoon hockey action. As you would expect when you have Hopkinton and Ashland meeting up. 5.36 left to go in the second period. A three to three game. Trying to come away with it is title. Along the near side sent down by Scardino. Morse sends it across. And Parker Wynn goes back to Morse. And now with it is Boselli. Closing in, Ian Tosca. Jammed up along the near side corner. And title trying to float it out. Back and forth we go along the corner. Scardino risks that shot wide. And now Wynn gets a piece of it before taking a big hit. Ian Tosca looking to send it out. Scardino and Title meet up along the near side and sent back around. And Wayne would try to steal it away. Caveney got by him. A two on one. Caveney closing in and just getting in his way was Morse. Up along the far side now. Boselli puts it off the boards. That a backhander. That's deflected. Getting the shot in was Jack O'Brien. Along the near side. It scoots out and flipped off the glass into the neutral zone. Good flip by Ian Tosca. Now Scardino has a breakaway backhander, and it is a glove save by Rossi. Good save by the junior goaltender, Jack Rossi. We'll get a faceoff at 4.18 left to go in the period. We got two juniors starting in net today. Jack Lang up against Jack Rossi. Off the faceoff now. Along the near side, sent out. Peterson trying to get the shot on it. He's diverted. Picked up by Bianchi. Sends it up to Zolotarov. Karatsa backhands it into Ashland territory. Peterson trying to race up. With it is Riva. He'll send it away. Sent down by Ashland, taking it up, McGough. And now Peterson responds. Wrapped around by Kelly. With it now, Milko. Sends it out and slapped away. Here comes Rodriguez. Rodriguez flying into Hiller territory. Takes a big hit from Carrazza. I think they both hit each other on that one. And they're going to get Karatsa. Coach Hayes doesn't like it. Well, they get Karatsa for an illegal hit. 
3.29 left to go in the second period. Ashland on the power play for at least the next two minutes. Declan DeRocher entering the game to face off against Anthony Rodriguez. Along the near side. That shot deflected away off the stick of Aiden Fish. Try to turn it up, Boselli, and it is sent up the far side. Fish cross to Boselli. Boselli racing in, and he was looking for a good opportunity to shoot there, couldn't find one. Reardon sends it across, over to Fish. Up along the corner now is, that is Berman trying to just pin the puck, burn some of that power play. Sent out, there's a quick shot and it's put in by Aiden Fish. Well that was a beauty, he went the love side and he makes it a four to three game. Ashland has their Second lead of the game. They led one to nothing very early on in the first period before Drew Morse responded, but now they lead it four to three. On the faceoff title against Boselli. Ashland controls off the faceoff. Sent up over to Rodriguez. And now Boselli racing in. And he couldn't get the shot off. Ian Tosca trying to send it up, getting in the way was Rodriguez. Over to the far side we go, Riva. Pops it into the neutral zone, sent back down by Ian Tosca. Kelly slaps it away, and it got by Wynn. Morse and Wynn racing to it. Up along the near side, and in Tosca trying to set it back. Morse now. Sends it up to Title, who pops it across. Scardino. Sends it out to Ian Tosca, who tries to punch it in. It's turned away. And out, handled by Kelly, who sends it into Hiller territory. And that'll draw an icing call at 131 left to go in the second period. Well, non-stop action in this one between these two teams. The Hillers certainly wishing that they were having a better period as Ashland has taken the lead with three second period goals. Out in front, Peterson. And he tries to get the shot off, he does. Didn't get the piece he wanted and Rossi wraps it up. Ashland going to make a change. Carazza up against Boselli. Along the near side, sent over by Barris out in front and trying to pop it in. It's the turn away. They were trying to set up win there. Up along the corner. Actually, that was Zoltarif. Berman along the near side, sends it across. Barris, a misfire. Berman catches up with it in the neutral zone, pops it off the boards, looking for Karatza, and we're gonna have it offsides. Make that an icing call with 57 seconds left. We'll go into Hiller territory. On the near side, quick shot there by Boselli, and it is wrapped up by Lang. What a save. Oh, Boselli got the nice roll and ripped the one-timer. Good save by Lang. 
Ashley looking for another shot here, and it's deflected away. Berman sends it across. And Clockers trying to work their way through. Here comes Caveney. He takes a big hit as he rips the shot off wide. Purpura pops it off the glass. There to stop it is Aiden Fish. Big hit delivered on Fish. Out in front, there's a shot turned away by Lang. Purpura trying to work it up the ice. And now a crossover to the near side corner it goes. Greenwood trying to dig it out. He'll slash it across into Ashland territory. Fish sends it up over to Moselli. Eight seconds left to go in the period. Berman over to Greenwood. And it's taken away by Reardon. And Reardon racing his way up. And what do we have here? We're going to have an offsides call. Crossed the line a bit too soon. And we'll get a face-off with 2.9 seconds left to go in the second period. Declan DeRocher up against Jake Caveney. Now they're going to switch it up. Rodriguez in there. And looking for the buzzer beater, and it's wide by Derek Sheath, and that's how the second period will end. Ashland nets three goals and shuts out the Hillers in the period, and they lead it 4-3 to three as we head into the final 15 minutes of regulation. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Boys Hockey on HCAM. And welcome back into the New England Sports Center. We are ready for the third period of this TVL large matchup, the regular season finale between these two teams. And as we enter the third period, it is a four to three Ashland lead as Ashland scored three non-answer goals in the second period. Miller is looking to Get their team alive and try to get back in this game. Ryan Title up against Jack McGough. Both teams 10 and 9 overall. Winner of this game will finish the season above 500. The loser will finish below. Well, on the far side, sent up by Aiden Fish. Morris over to Scardino. Hiller's working a left to right across your screen for this period. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera. Happy to be with you on this Wednesday afternoon. Poked away by Rossi. Sent up by Title, and now taking it Reardon for Ashland. Sends it across. With it is Boselli. Boselli trying to work his way up. Along the near side. And it squirts out. Title trying to get there. And he's cut off by Aiden Fish. Sent out to Scardino, takes a shot, glove save, Rossi. Oh, that was a good save by Rossi. Scardino had a good look. Well, Ashland, they're 10 and nine. They are ranked seventh in the division four playoff bracket, so they will likely make it, regardless of the outcome of this game. Hopkinton ranked 29th in the division two bracket. And they would certainly feel more comfortable with a win, but they, have a great chance at making it as well, regardless of the outcome. Sent back to Bianchi, and he'll wrap it around. Over to the far side corner it goes. And now taken by Zolotarov. Sends it back, Bianchi takes a shot, and it goes off a defender. Over to the corner. And Bianchi going to wrap it around, looking for Zolotarov. Zolotarov trying to send it back. He's contested. Able to get it over to the far side. Berman takes a shot just wide. Zolotarov sends it across once again to Berman. Berman with another shot. That's turned away. Squirts out into Hiller territory. And we'll have an icing call. Let's take a look at the TVL standings when we have a chance. In the TVL large, Westwood, 11-7-1. They're ranked 22nd in the Division II bracket. Ashland, 10-9-0, ranked 7th in the Division IV bracket. Medfield, 11-6-1. and 
They are ranked 20th in the Division III bracket. Norwood 16-3-1 in the Division II bracket. They are ranked 6th. And the Hillers ranked 29th in that Division II bracket at 10-9 and 0. Holliston won 17 and 1. Up along the end boards now. Along the corner. Title sends it out. And now there's a shot by Ian Tosca turned away. Well, the Hillers starting off this period with good pressure. Let's see if they can keep it going. Along the far side, Reardon sends it up before taking a big hit from Scardino. And now Ashland trying to put some pressure on. That is turned away by Wynn. Now with it, Ian Tosca. Sends it over to Morse. Back to Ian Tosca now. He'll flip it up. Off of Reardon it goes. Reardon sends it over. There's a quick shot by Caveney and a glove save by Lang. Hillers will make a line change and we'll have a face-off at 12.27 left to go in the third period. Derosher sends it to the corner. Purpura looking for Derosher, flipped off the boards by Riva. Getting in there is Barris. Barris and Purpura jammed up along the near side boards with a couple of clockers. Purpura going to take it. Sends it out. And Dan Kelly will rip it around. And now set out in front. Purpura trying to pop it in. Still in the danger zone. Ashland able to clear for the moment. Sent up by Riva. And we're going to have a high stick call. Are we? Nope, we'll have it off sides. Grazza on the face off for the Hillers. Up against Boselli. Berman sends it down. Jammed up along the air side boards. Taken by Milko. Ashland coming up the ice. Rodriguez sends it up into Hiller territory. Backhanded off the boards by Barris. Wristed by Fish to the air side corner. Handled by Barris. Along the boards. And Zolotarov sends it back into Ashland territory. We'll have an icing call as the Hillers make a change. His faceoff comes at 11.06 left to go. Well, this is our final regular season broadcast of the 2021-22 winter season, but we'll have as much playoff action as possible. It's looking pretty likely. We'll have boys basketball, girls basketball, and hopefully boys hockey as well. You can stay updated with where we will be at our website, hcam.tv. Handled by Fish. Sends it up to Reardon. Reardon going to pop it into the neutral zone, and it floats in Ailer territory. Wind trying to turn it around. Ooh, misfire. And that shot deflected by Morris, and out of play it goes. Well, Wynn took a swing and missed, trying to send the puck away, and P.J. Cassine got the shot off. Ryan Title up against Derek Sheath. Scardino floats it out. Wind to the far side, here goes Ian Tosca. Ian Tosca racing up the ice. And he lost his stick. Ian Tosca was trying to race by Riva and lost the stick. We get a faceoff at 10.18 left to go. And we're going to have an Ashland penalty. They're going to say Jackson Riva grabbed the stick. So the Hillers with a huge opportunity here. 
They're on the power play for at least the next two minutes. Karatza up against Boselli. I figure there might be a call there, but wasn't sure. I've already jumped the gun a couple times today. Moore sends it back to Karatza. Wristed and wrapped up by Rossi. We'll get another face off at 10.08 left to go. Karatza up against Boselli. Boselli slaps it away. Lang sets it up. 145 and counting left to go on the Hiller power play. Karatza gets by one clocker. And getting in his way is Boselli. Morse up to win. Cross to Karatza. Karatza trying to sneak by Rodriguez to flex it back into Hiller territory. Here goes Wynn. Sends it back, and now up to Karatza along the far side. Here comes Ashlyn Boselli racing in. He'll take it around. Can't get an angle on it. Takes a big hit from Karatza. Berman taking it up the ice. Just under a minute left on the power play. Berman sends it out to DeRocher. DeRocher with a misfire there. Didn't get as much as he wanted on it. Now Ashland has a breakaway. Moselli sends it over. Shot. And that's it. But now it's not it. It was deflected. And Berman able to send it over to the far side. Karatza takes it. Karatza racing in. And off a defender it goes. Fish. And that's punched out by Lang. Stolen away by Cavity. Over to the end boards it goes. That was a close call for a shorthanded goal earlier by Ashland. Fish sends it over. Cavity pops it up. And we'll get a face-off at 7.58 left to go. Well, the power play did expire. So Ashland able to hold strong. Sends it over. Along the near side. Sent up by Cavity. Moore sends it up over to Zolotarev. Looking for Karatza. Karatza trying to sneak through. Along the corner, sends it out looking for Peterson. He's contested by Kelly. Zolotarev. And it's sent flying by Zolotarev as the Hillers make a change. Title sends it up. Along the near side. Set out in front and Title nearly had a shot on it. Berman gets in there, sends it wide. Title. It's taken away by Boselli. Boselli sends it out. And well defended in that moment for the Hillers. Boselli got tied up. Sent back down by Cavity. Back and forth we go along the blue line. And now Ian Tosca trying to come out of it. Ian Tosca, snake and throw, takes a shot deflected into the protective netting. 
We'll get a face off at 619 left to go in the third period. Well, there will certainly be a highlight reel of saves in this game by both these goalies. Been a lot of shots on goal by both teams, and Jack Lang, Jack Rossi have done a tremendous job. And apologies for being fooled a couple times today with some of these goals. Quick moving game we got going here. Over to the near side. And now cross sent over to Fish. Deflected by Kassane and scoots along the near side as Perpera takes a big hit. That's sent back to the neutral zone. Perpera to his feet, sends it over to Morse. Morse sends it flying. And Morse gonna catch that one and drop it. Wraps it around, Hiller's in the midst of a change. Approaching five and a half minutes left to go, and Ashland just gonna let the clock run as much as possible. Up four to three. Sent flying into Hiller territory, we'll have an icing call. Clearing something up, getting uh, some more pucks. Grazza on the faceoff. And Vasily Zolotarov with a shot just wide. Along the near side it goes. And we'll have another icing. in on the faceoff. Over the corner it goes, slapped up the ice and handled by Barris. And Zolotarov trying to work his way out. Puck scoots out towards Berman. Takes the shot, deflected off of Peterson and wrapped up by Rossi. We'll get a faceoff at 4.56 left to go. Hiller's Looking to keep the pressure going as they find themselves down by one goal. Four to three, Ashland lead. Up along the far side, Morse sends it back. Sent over by Scardino. Morse handles it along the neutral zone. That's over to Yintoska. Yintoska going to take a hit as he sends it up. Title trying to get it out of the jam. Morse pops it off the boards. Boselli sends it over. Sent back down by Win. And here goes Yintoska. Fish. Along the near side. And Milko had it. Title able to get the stick in there, then takes a hit from Reardon. Ashland trying to clear it away, and now Bianchi gets in there. Nice steal. And he's going to take a hit. With it is Boselli. Boselli working his way up the ice. In the Hiller territory, and he had too many Hillers in front of him to do anything with it. And it's taken away by Berman. Rocher sends it down. And we'll have a stoppage here. It looks like it will be 
a penalty against Ashland. They're going to get reared in for a high stick. So the Hillers with yet another power play opportunity. 3.28 left to go. Hillers with the man advantage. Jammed up along the corner, now sent out over to the far side, Morse. And that'll squirt down into Hiller territory. Lang will get it ready for Wynn to take it. Wynn sends it across. Morse trying to work his way down. Now sent out in front, Wynn looking for Scardino. Scardino back to Wynn. Now Scardino. Takes the shot and it's off the glass. Morse takes a hit and sent out of the corner by Ashland. Win back ice. Pops it up to Carrazza. Carrazza racing up the ice. Takes the shot. It's deflected off a defender. Boselli got the stick in there. Lang will leave it for Berman. 56 seconds and counting left on the power play. Crucial situation for the Hillers. Carrazza racing by one clogger, two clogger, and then he puts it off the protective netting and we'll have a face off. And it looks like we're gonna have a timeout with 2.13 left to go in the game. 46 seconds left on the power play. Coach Hayes wants to talk things over. Ashland leading 4-3. to three. We'll take a timeout on HCAM. 2.13 left to go in the third period. A 4-3 Ashland lead. 46 seconds left on the Hillers power play. Barraza in on the face off. Along the corner, up along the near side, Carrazza with it. Takes a shot off a defender, it goes, and it's sent away. Hillers do have an empty net. Win going to take it. Carrazza racing up the ice. Trying to sneak by into Ashland territory, takes a shot, it's deflected, and it went off the ceiling. And we'll have a faceoff at 147 left to go. 19 seconds left on the power play. Faceoff's always dangerous when you have an empty net. Killers have six attackers. And Tosca takes the shot and a glove save by Rossi. I think if Ashland pulls this out, you got to give Jack Rossi player of the game, but certainly still some time left. 15 seconds left on the power play. Along the near side, and Morris is tripped up. Win, trying to send it back. Up to Carrazza. Back to Win. Carrazza. Racing down along the far side and delivers a big hit, and it's sent towards the empty net just wide by Boselli. And we will have a face-off with 1.16 left to go. The power play did expire. Well, unfortunate for the Hillers, they weren't able to take advantage of that power play opportunity. They will Stay with the extra attacker and the empty net at this point. All right, title on the faceoff against Boselli. Towards the empty net, and it's in! Icing on the cake for Ashland. And I believe that was Aiden Fish who was able to put it in. That makes it a five to three Ashland lead with 111 left to go. 
Hillers will send the goalie back in. Well, looks like Ashland gonna get the best of this series this season. But we'll still play out the remaining 107. You never know what could happen. Rocher jammed up along the boards. Purpura trying to get it out as well. And it's sent away. The Hillers started off this game so good after Ashland scored the opening goal at 11.37. Hillers scored three of their own, courtesy of Andrew Morse, Whitey and Tosca, and Michael Berman. But then it was all Ashland in the second, er, yeah, in the second period as they scored three goals of their own to make it a four to three game heading into this final frame. And the only goal in this period, an empty netter for Ashland. Deflected by title and nearly put in by Scardino. And Ian Tosca puts it towards the net. Title trying to dig it out. Ashland comes away with it and able to send it away. Lang will deflect that one. 30 seconds and counting left to go. And there's a one-timer there, turned away by Lang. Bianchi got the stick in there. Title up to Ian Tosca. Well, it's gonna be a tough loss for the Hillers here today in the regular season finale, but hopefully some more important games coming up as we'll have playoff time for the Hillers as that puck is deflected and that'll do it. Ashland going to hang on and take the win five to three over the Hopkinton Hillers. It was a very physical, well-played game by both sides. Some great hustle out there and certainly a lot of entertainment, but the Clockers get it done and improve to 11 and nine to close out the season. The Hillers will close out regular season play at 10 and 10. We will keep you updated on the playoff situation at our website, hcam.tv. But the Ashland Clockers getting the win here today, five to three. For John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching all season long. Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Thanks for tuning in. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.